switch because I remember hitting it. What we're going to do here is we're going to do that number and that number there. Alright, and we're going to head into the season of fall. Which apparently the dragonflies are making a return in. I like dragonflies, they're pretty cool. Bear, get eerie, more caterpillars. Needs 10, so we need 7 more. Um, gold feather. I like gold feathers. Wow, there's leaves all over the place now. Okay, so in fall there's 48 notes. So we're gonna need. I'm trying to think. 36 plus 48 is 84. So we're gonna need 84 by the time we leave here. Which I don't know how it's, if that's gonna be that bad or gonna be alright or what that's gonna do, but we're gonna go in here now because if you remember we couldn't get the jig from him last time. Because he was Oh here you are at last. I've been waiting months to give you this. Yay! So there's also three jigs here as well. So we'll have eight jigs by the time we leave. Which of course we'll leave two for winter. Um, let's get a good look around. Um, I believe there's a reason to come back here during the winter. Not entirely sure, but I have a feeling that's what I'm going to do last. Um, because... I also know that this water is not, not frozen, so, you know, there's that whole issue. Fly away. Oh, no. Is there... Um, hey look, it's Gobi again. Before we harass him, let's pick up a few things that are around here. See, what's funny about fall is I feel like, oh, hey, there's our ginge. So we have all, we have the ginge that, there's only one ginge here. So, let's uh, stomp Gobi again. And there he goes. Look at that thing grow. Hey! There's a jig. Right, that's it. I'm off to the lava world. You'll never find me there. So, the lava world he's talking about isn't even in this game. That's a subtle nod at one of the levels in... Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Patooie. Um. I don't remember how you... Did I almost glitch up there? I don't remember how to get up there. Um. I don't think you can jump up there, so I guess we'll have to come back to that. But, uh... Where are we? Oh. Okay. Take a look ahead of us. Um... I guess we'll see if Mumbo's in town. See if we can turn it into a bee, I guess. Cause that, I guess that's a way to get it. B 
get another note. We only need four caterpillars. Look at us go. Drop on that little baby right there. Top job. Let's see where he is. Is he sweeping? Mumbo busy. Sweep many leaves. No magic today. So he's just cleaning? Lame. Lame. Get the moots. Do 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 do. Anyway, this guy's like, I'm sweeping. What are you doing? I'm sweeping. I like to sweep. Man, not looking forward to that climb again. I think. Might be things of value. No? Okay. It's worth checking. Da, 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 da. But, uh, yeah, we'll take a look around and, uh, make sure what's going on. And we will. I don't know. I guess we'll just find out. If the, uh,. Like how you're supposed to get that. That may be one that you're supposed to come back to during winter. Because I think the flower dies. Even though it doesn't feel natural at all. Oh my god, I do. Well, whatever. It happens. It occasionally happens. You just kind of go. Yeah, go. Die. What? You guys saw it. Max. That bird is invincible. Man, that, that. Nothing annoys me more than. I, I hope I trade this. Nothing annoys me more than when you feel. Slash. Have deserved to kill an enemy. And you just don't. That time. Everything felt right. But he killed me anyway. That is not okay in my book. It's not acceptable to get away with that. Die. You filthy swine. Da -da -da -da. So, here's a little tricky, cheeky one. Keep going back and forth until we get the. There we go. Like that. I feel like we haven't explored this little area yet. I guess we have. This is where we got our last ginge. So we got all the notes from this particular section. So we will go up to the next level. Of course, we'll check over here. Go ahead and, uh, hurry up. Uh oh. So we'll just take the moment. <laughs> hmm? What the heck? Man, that's, again, irritating. So, bit that. Chicken legs. So, I guess what we'll have to do is when we get some more golden feathers, come back to that one. But oh, these leaves are tiny. You know, I always think it's funny how it's like, in some ways they always they make it easier, and then in other ways they make it harder. It's like the same set of tasks, but you know, I mean, I think what they did with this was very clever. 
You have to do the same thing four times with slightly different variations on it each time. In order to, you know, get it right. I feel like that's a, like a really clever concept in that it's done well with this because it's not like, you know, it's not like you're hitting a switch and then it changes like a little. It's not like you're doing something, raising the water level, then doing it again. And I cannot land on that. Man, if there was a level to rage on, I feel like this level is more rage inducing than Rusty Bucket Bay because Rusty Bucket Bay, you're just like sad. But in this, you're just like, Banjo, I will destroy you if you don't get on that platform. Which is how I'm feeling right now. I feel as if Banjo doesn't get his behind on the platforms, and I might just kill him. It's driving me insane. <sighs> okay. Look. I should have just not touched the stick. He would have landed that if I didn't touch the stick. That's it. I'm going the other way, and I'll look, I'll look down back at it and see if there's anything on there important. If not, I'm continuing on with my merry way. These fly traps are getting bigger, I just realized that. We need to get that worm though. So here's what we'll do. Jump around them. Like so. And there's no notes. So we'll jump back. Die. 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 There we go. Die. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything in here. Nothing in here for you now, bear. We've all moved out. Well, there's some notes and a caterpillar in here, which we have enough to feed him again. I'd say it's probably... Can I just say that's nasty? That's like mean. They're like, yeah, there's nothing in here for you, and there, there's still a thing. It's just notes instead of a jiggy. That's like telling you to miss that jiggy right there. Not jiggy, but miss the notes. Which we need 12 more of, not including the one I need more golden feathers for. Well, there's some more lives. I bet there's bees on this thing. I hate it. There, why do they have to put bees everywhere? I hate, hate bees. I feel as if there's something on top of the house. Golden feather. I'm gonna look up there. It doesn't look like there's anything up there. There is a worm down here. Which I'll get. The camera is not doing me any favors right now. And we're gonna jump, peck, jump, peck. In preparation. Da, 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 da. 
So here's Nabnut. Hi there, bear buddy. I need six more acorns. So, we have to look around for his acorns. I know one for sure is up here. <sighs> that was too close for comfort. Get the little acorn. Get the acorn. Get the acorn. And then take a peek around real quick. That's all that's in here is an acorn. I don't know. I, I, sometimes I feel like they put a lot of effort into stuff that doesn't necessarily need that much effort put into it. Okay. So. Great. Walk up here. Oh no. You guys. Are you guys having flashbacks about that honeycomb? Well, I sure am. From the honeycomb piece we kept missing? Okay, go straight down, straight down. Okay. Spin the camera around. Okay. Peek. Peaky pound. Peaky pound. Grab the health. <laughs> I'm terrified of everything right now. So there's that, and then there's some notes. And there's another nut. So... I don't know how many nuts I have. Sounds like a medical problem. But... Doesn't, it's not telling me. How many you need? You need five? Mm, Nab nut hasn't got enough. Any way to get there? Um... Maybe there's some over here? Oh no! Oh no! I'm so... Uh, <sighs> I'm gonna kill something. So I have one golden feather. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here. Jump. Okay, so I got it. May seem like what I did wasn't really worth it, but that way I'm not gonna forget that note. And I only need six more. Plus I think I can pick up a little bit of health along the way because I killed some stuff and didn't pick up the health from it. But go Have I mentioned how much I hate these jumps? Oh, let's see. See there's nothing even important on those things. It's like, <gasps> I literally almost just like crapped myself from fear of falling to my death right there. This is probably one of the most terror. oh, I know where it is. I know where the last one is. Somewhere around here. 
there's a part of the bridge that like hangs down by itself. Oh, it's over there. <sighs> okay. It's right over here. That's where the last one is. I just remembered that. So, we'll just <laughs> keep going. Get that. Get that. I'm inside it. Okay. Which is the last nut we're going to need. I think he gives you... I do apologize, but... A little glitch happened and we got it off screen, so I did get a jiggy from him. Yeah, I just didn't get to see it. And I believe that's seven jiggies total, so we need to get one more jiggy and eight more notes. Yeah? Yeah. And you get one more jiggy and eight full notes from this world. I already got the Jinjo from it. Alright, so we're climbing. And unfortunately, I did fall last time. <laughs> Almost made the same mistake I did last time. Still picking up that hill. Peck, peck, peck. And here's the button for winter. The button for winter. Yay, we got the button for winter. And then, if you guys recall, we'll run in a quick little circle around him, pick up the last bit of the notes, and that's all the notes we need, and we'll feed him, it'll take a minute, because he's eating ten of these things. There's no faster way to do this. We're getting there. There it goes. Then you'll get nice and big and fall to sleep. Okay. So I know where the remaining jiggies are. I do believe we have to get the fall one this level, but I have a plan for that. Um, as I said uh, last time, man, it is convenient that there's like a ton of wood here before, before we had that really tricky platforming, now it's just like nice and easy. They're still trying to give us these worms. Um, it'll peek around here. Alright, so I think... So if there's only one Jiggy to get in winter, and I know what Jiggy that is, then I know you have to get the Flower Jiggy now. Oh, I see how to do this. Alright, so we're going to jump. Flutter and line up the shot because we're just gonna fall down on the flower. Whoop! Just like that. See that? It's called using your brain. And guess what, guys? We're ready to move on. I. We are ready to head out of fall and into winter, which is a great season. It really is. But, uh, yeah, so in winter we have pretty much cleanup stuff to do with. Um, we have one last Jinjo, which I believe I know where she is. Um, the Grunty Switch. Don't think I forgot about that. It is in winter. And two honeycomb pieces are also in winter. No idea where those honeycomb pieces are. Unfortunately. I might. You know, I might know where those are actually. 
but I can't guarantee it. Alright, gonna kill these guys and take their health. But Winta, we have one Jinjo, one Jig, two honeycomb pieces, and a grunty switch. And the Jinjo will also act as a Jinj. Of course. But what we're gonna look for in this and oh, before I start. I have to say just a couple things. One, these guys are dead. Finally, I know, right? And two, all of my favorite enemies from Freeze Easy Peek are here. I know, it's right exciting, isn't it? Um, there are flight pads in the winter, because for some reason, this game loves flight pads when it comes to winter. Don't ask me why. But I'm gonna go ahead and try and take out all the snowmen now. Um, kind of as a get it done early kind of thing. I think there's one behind me actually. I hear him, but I don't line up the shot. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh man, I didn't mean to land. Oh, well. I think there's another flight pad over here anyway. Yeah. And an opportunity to get our ginge. You know, we've checked here every single time. Mumbo's on vacation. You hairy fool. Come back in spring. You insulting me? Are you insulting me? Are you... Bah! Take that! I'm sorry guys, got a little out of hand, I'm sorry. Listen. Oh, I hear the strong whistle of a good friend nearby. So I believe there's one right on top of Mumbo's head. Indeed. And he's right there, and that will be a fifth jiggy Jinjo and our ninth jiggy I know our last jiggy is but of course as always we have a grunty switch to take care of as well as two honeycomb pieces seriously it's driving me nuts that it keeps making me do that But, and also for six, 16 notes to find. Um, I keep hearing him. But I don't. Is he above? Oh, he must be above me. That's where he's gotta be. So here's a guy that I'm gonna kill now. Whoa. That's how to miss. Very closely, though. Got him. Line up the shot. Got him. This guy, I think, is concealing the grunting switch. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. I zed early, guys. I'm sorry. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Alright, so I think I know where the honeycomb piece is, but we're going to get it last. Um, because there's a very po high possibility of drownage. If where I think it is, is correct. Oh, our flower died. That's sad. Alright, so we're going to keep flying up, though. And keep looking for the snowman. Of death because I know right now that all these uh, platforms and stuff they're made slippery because of it being winter and being winter 
we want to make sure we kill them all. Mm, you know, feels a little weird flying around, just so like chill. Not to be ironic. Man, that thing evolved. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go down this backwards, collecting the notes, so that, that way if I fall, it would be progressively shorter. You know, good news always. Um, so one thing I know that we need to do that I am going to let us go up for is you have to hit this and then fly into it. Alright, and because I think this is where one of the honeycomb pieces is. I think this is where one of the pieces is. This is a safe one, of course. Whoa, this guy has a lot of acorns. Man, these guys are messing me up. Bah! Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. There it is. It's one of our combs. Get a good little look around here. Yeah, that's about that's all that's in here. Don't know why. Light time. Light time. Alright, sorry about that, that was a little glitchy glitchy. Oops, it happens sometimes. You know, screen capturing and all that's not always easy. Alright. So, another one of those stop and swap locations, it's actually right here. And guess what, he's got a girl! You got a girl with him, and it'll be right over here. This is where the stop and swap item will be. It just always cracks me up that you got a girl in there. You don't see the girl in any of the other seasons, but all of a sudden she magically appears for this one. Tricky, suspicious. So I don't know if there's anything. <gasps> in here or not but we'll check yeah there's nothing so alright we're gonna go get our jiggy and then we'll start cleaning up with notes Dun. um I would suggest that you use um, Kazooie to do most of your moving around on this level because the snow will mess you up because you just kind of slip and slide all over the place. It's just safer. Little. Yuri, you might even go watch me as I fly into the sky. I mean, guys, we we have. I have a reward for you, bear friend. Here it is. He just pooped that out. Like he made a fart noise and everything. But you know what? <laughs> if it works, it works. And that's all the jigs! So now we just need to get 12 notes and one honeycomb piece. As I said, we'll get that honeycomb piece last because I know where it is and it's in a very dangerous location. One that is likely. No, 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 no. Oh, tease it, tease it, tease it. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, that's why I said we're gonna do it starting at the top and work our way down because it just like jumping causes problems. 
I'm checking here again. I don't think there's anything in here. And there's not. But it's always a worthwhile check. Because you never know when something that you thought was never a thing is becomes a thing. It just happens sometimes. Get the golden feather. Cruise on down. Cruise on down. <sighs> He's walking. I just realized you can make my banjo like moonwalk. Do 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 Alright, so notes. We already went up there and got those. Tease it, tease it, tease it, tease it. I believe there's some notes around here to be gotten. Or we already got those. There. Got them. Going back this way. Oh no. One health left and I can't see myself. Okay, we gotta do this very carefully. Okay. So we have one health, two health, three health. I guess we're gonna have to walk up to get them. I really don't wanna try and platform. Oh, okay, there we go. Here's some here's some free health. There we go. So now Banjo's will help you again. Um, let's grab a few more health. So you never know when that one is gonna be the one that saves you. So here's what we'll do. First of all, I want to kill this because revenge for what he did to me on Freeze Easy Peak. And pick up that one health right there. Okay. And then Leap of Kingdoms. Alright, and jump. Jump. Fly, Banjo. We're just going to fly up to wherever those other notes were. I think they're over here. One, two, three, four. I guess four will do for now. Right. Golden feather is always, always useful. Get the golden feather. Oh, this one. I'm not going to go for that golden feather. I'm going to fall. Game used to be so easy and happy. Now it's like I don't want to get that one feather because I'll die. Then here's what I'll do: a little bit of cheeky. I like how the thing I'm best at is falling because I have to deal with it so often. That's how you know you're good at a platformer. When you are when you fall so often that you get really good at falling. I mean, I think the last few, oh, I forgot to hit the grunt. I need to hit the grunty switch. Just uh, boom! Shazam! And that's our tenth overworld jiggy. Is there any... Alright, there's a flight pad right down here. And leap. 
And we're going to go back in disguise and see if we can't find those notes again. I think they're back this way, actually. We're going to fly this way. Because I think they're right over here. Oh, I know where they are. Yup. Just remember these. Oh, no, no. There are uh, jump pads somewhere. Okay, got it. Da 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 da. Well, hey, we got all 100 nodes. So, all we have left is the single honeycomb piece, right? Okay. And I happen to know where it is. I know, right? It's kind of exciting. Being so close to done. And I don't want to jinx myself, so I won't say it now. But, okay, so it's right on the bend. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. I think there is a last honeycomb piece in the beaver thing, if I remember. And it, the icy water is like the polluted water in that it costs you uh, double air. So it's basically designed to kill you. And, I don't know if you, yeah, and you also have to get out of the water to get, and guess what, right there, is all final honeycomb paste, which means we have a whopping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you not? Get another health for that? Apparently you don't get health for the, uh. Your last one. But I guess that's okay. We're doing it for the completion. So then there's a whole set that you don't need. Man, sometimes... Like, I love this game to death. I really do. But there are some times where it's like... You don't need to be forgiving. And if you're gonna be for... Like... If you're gonna be... F like, it's okay. Like, I understand being forgiving about Jiggies. I understand being forgiven, forgiving about Mumbo Tokens. But forgiving about extra health? If you don't want it, they can just go with the extra health. You can just go without. But no, they're like, no, well, I'll just give them an extra set. It's two per level, that way that allows them to miss six. And still have maximum health. Which I think is crap. Man. Anyway, we have beaten all 10 levels we are about to go get our 10th overworld jiggy 10 we've been playing this Come on. we're about to find out how long we've been playing for this game I'm gonna step in here. If this is what I yeah. The bears go down in the woods today. Da, 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 da. I don't for some reason whenever you enter a world, the first one does that. Oh well. So you go in here. 
you do what you got to do. Wait a second. How do you... So it's up there. Up. Up. Oh. So guys, remember when I was doing the thing with the water levels and I was like, why would you need to do this? I just figured it out. Die. Now I'm gonna go pick up some health. Alright, got all the health I need. And I was like, why in the world would you have a thing up there when you don't really need a thing up there? And I all of a sudden had the epiphany. That you need to do. Um, problem is I don't remember how to raise the water level. I remember there was a way to, I just don't remember how, oh there it is. Alright, yeah. See guys, it's not even that bad. It's right there, that easy. See? Not a problem. What? Oh, we gotta do the two different water levels thing again. Uh, I have no idea whether I'm gonna make it or not. I'm not gonna make it. There's no point in me even going through this thing. Other than trying to remember where the deep water level is. I think it might be through here. Sorry, I'm trying to remember where the extra deep water level is. Like, you know, not one, two, three, or so this is how we unlock the level. Do you guys remember where the fourth one was? Look around. I think it's up there. So we'll, uh, Go back through and we'll fix it and come back. Mumbo token. Not that we need them anymore, but you know, might as well grab them. Where in the world is that? There it is. Alright, so we're gonna get that last extra jiggy. And I'm nice and slim once more. Burgers, fries, and uh, I'll endure. I don't know. Guys, step off it. I don't know the rhyme, alright? I'm sorry. Uh, so, we need to hit the thing. And dive down. Quickly, 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 and then go straight up through the thing again, and I believe that's where we'll find number four. Let's do a little 360 as you come up for uh, like front flipper style. All right, climb one up here. No, that's Cheeto. So how do you get that last overworld jiggy? Okay. So apparently I was mistaken on the... Hmm. 
Why is it always so difficult for me to find this stupid tunnel out? Alright, swim through there. What's today? Uh. Oh, you know what? I, um, yeah, I just realized what it was. In my extraordinary proven intelligence, it never occurred to me that I needed to use the B. Remember the B? Remember how we're allowed to bring the little transformations right outside the, uh, in the overworld's themed area? Yeah. Just realized. So we're gonna go ahead and head into spring. Turn into the bee. And head right on back. Because I totally forgot you need the bee. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of platforming you can do in spring to make it much faster. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're getting notes again. Man, we're so good we can't even stop. Ever. We're always collecting. I don't know why it shows that. Like every the first one you kill every single time you enter an area it does that. Whatever. So I totally forgot you needed the bee. I mean, I'm kinda sorry. Kinda not. I mean, let's be honest. As far as these levels go, we really haven't wasted a lot of time. Like this level's way bigger than Clinker's Cavern ever was. Not Clinker's Cavern, what am I thinking? I always say Clinker's Cavern when I'm trying to think of Ru Rusty Bucket Bay. Anyway. By the way, I believe if you hold B while flying, you travel faster? I can't believe I totally forgot it. Ooh. That's nicely. It's a nice little. Trick they did with the uh, trees overhead. It, it looks good. Very atmospheric. I can't. I still can't. I feel like there's also a thing. An extra life. We don't need that. Yeah, it's proven. If you hold down B, well, flying, you'll fly faster. Great thing to know now. Man, it is exceedingly difficult. Okay, I'm sorry, but this B is excessively difficult to fly. I'm just gonna like, keep flying in this wall until I land. There we go. Da, da, da. We did it, guys. Whee! We did it. We have beaten all ten levels. Hey, let me fly up here. All ten levels have been done in by the bear and bird. Pull up our totals. Gruntilda's Lair, 10 out of 10. Hour and 15 minutes total in this one. Mumbo's Mountain with our amazing speedrun of 15 minutes and 2 seconds. 100% completed. Treasure Trove Cove, 100% completed. Uh, 31 minutes, not bad. Clanker's Cavern, getting a little bit longer, 34 minutes. 100% completion, of course. Bubble Goop Swamp, there's a bit of a tragic misstep on our 
path to greatness here. And we had a an, an whole hour on that one. Freeze Easy Peak, kind of back in line with what it should have been. Um, with an hour, I mean, 100% in 40 minutes. Gobi's Valley, once again, kind of in line with the 49 minutes. 100%. Mad Monster Mansion taking a step back because I know that level a little bit and it's a really greatly designed level with 48 minutes. Rusty Bucket Bay with the tragedy and pain and sorrow and everything that's involved with that and I never want to talk about this level again so I'm just going to say hour 25 minutes is suffice to say and move on. Click Clock Wood being the biggest and final level. Took us an hour and 35 minutes. Not too shabby. And we have 100%, 900. And see you guys next time when we challenge the great, the powerful Gruntilda the Witch. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.